library. Okay. And they've got motorcycles. If you've got a motorcycle business, hiking, let's see, all kinds of nature. Let's go to nature and wildlife. I mean, lots of options here. Uh, my wife uses this one actually, and um, it's really pretty. But let's let's use that for example, and we can go out and we can put text in this. We want to put text and put hello world. And we can also save this and put it back into PowerPoint if we like the, the shape of that. Uh, but we can use PowerPoint again and we'll change the color of the font if we want to. Okay, okay and put our text anywhere we want. We can put other images in there. Uh, lots of options here, but you know, we can also create a blank header <clears throat> where we can make it any size we want to. We can make it, nine, mine is 985 wide, and it's about 200 tall. So we can change that and put a blank image in there. So lots of options with X, X header, and that's completely free. When you save that, you can save it as a PNG depending on if it's it's a good fit for your website but notice here let's go back out to the template library because it'll make more sense let's just choose this one and I want to show you the size of your the size of your font matters you want it to load quickly at the top okay so when we go save as if we save that as a JPEG I want you to notice that there's superb quality, excellent quality, very good, good, and above average. They all look pretty good to me, okay? Now, the biggest difference is this is 94K, that's 32K, very good is 23. The smaller that size of the image is, the faster it's going to load on your page, which makes a better experience for your visitor. So just keep that in mind whenever you're going to say that. But the two ways that I do it for free are with PowerPoint and X header uh, for my, my custom header. And I just wanted to touch that, but remember you can go to Fiverr.com, you can go to Odesk or Elance and find some good reviews from those people out there because you want them to do pretty good work. If you can go up 10 to 10 or $15 on somebody with Fiverr and get a good quality header, uh, you're a lot better off, but you can also give them some suggestions and they'll, you know, a graphic artist will do, work their creativity and um, typically do a nice job for you. Let's look, so let's go to widgets and plugins real quick. Okay, this is my opt-in. And the other thing that we want on our site is what's the most predominant thing on the site? This slider here will help you get more page views, okay? And this is why I like this. But I also have pictures here that shows you a little bit about each particular post. It's a thumbnail. And I, I recommend putting those in there as featured images, and we'll talk more about that. But as you scroll down, the site looks pretty good. There's, there's a lot of images on here, so that's a little bit of a concern on page loads. But just keep that in mind. You don't want a ton of images, a ton of ads over here. And as you can see, I've got a few videos, but they're important to me. I want to I wanna brand myself early on my site. I have one ad here and I have one opt-in here and this is the most important part of my page I want to capture someone's name and their email address if they're a one-time visitor and so that's really important to me is to build my list and it should be important to you too because if you're giving away something of value you can follow back up with some of your products and services later but you have to build a relationship with people and give some information away for free and later on I'm going to be showing you some of the best giveaways, I use a, uh, a program that, that gives away free books like Think and Grow Rich, As a Man Thinketh, and I've got a WordPress editor's guide. So I've just given away as much as I possibly can for free to get someone's name and their email address to try to establish a relationship over time. So, but where do I put all these things? Okay, so where, where, what I'm going to do now is show you exactly how we do that. And we're going to talk more, <clears throat> there's a video on this page about all the right plugins and everything like that but I just want to show you the basics of this for now I've gone to appearance and then widgets in my dashboard okay and these over here you'll notice that I have a script a JavaScript that I have here and that's what's creating this particular image here I made that in Aweber okay and I made my own web form here in Aweber but I after I made it I took the script that they gave me put it right here 
and that of course is my opt-in form now this is a YouTube video that's a uh, text widget text widget as well and you'll see that the frame width is 295 on this you can go in and change the size of that depending on how big your sidebar your sidebar is I've seen them at 300 280 you can make them 400 if you wanted to but that's where I put that in I find my embed code on YouTube and this is where you'll find your embed code I'll go out to my video manager okay and I'll share right here's the embed code you'll want to copy this right here hit share right below your video embed and there's your embed code right there so you'll put that into the text widget but make sure that you change your size and that's what will bring up your videos right here in the sidebar okay now plugins ultimate follow me that's one of my favorite plugins okay and we're going to talk more about that about downloading the the ultimate follow me plugin or some type of follow me plugin like this but it gives me the ability to go in and put my Google Plus ID, my email address, my YouTube channel, and all that shows up right here in my sidebar. Testimonials from my buddies uh, and, and Magdalena, uh, but also there's an advertisement, and that's an image widget, okay? And if you don't have an image widget, you can go out to your plugins and go download one, but you can change the image, download one, and then it gives you the option to put the size right here and I need to change that just a little bit okay so let's save that because it was a little bit too small but then I got popular articles that's also another plugin popular post that I downloaded uh, topics these are the topics for my website and then the ultimate tag cloud so that just that's pretty cool that will help you get a few more pages and also help you with SEO from what I understand but it gives you a general theme of what my website's about. Social media marketing, video marketing, network marketing, content submission, you know. So that's that's what I recommend. My site, I like it because it is pretty clean. There's not a ton of, there used to be a lot of stuff going on. I didn't really understand that people don't want to look at ads that much. So try to make it as clean as you can. Focus on your, these right here are your money pages, okay? This is the most important part. These are your best links. Okay, I call these top level pages. And these up here, these are this is a secondary navigation menu. And let me show you what I mean by that. And we're gonna dig a little bit deeper in that, but just for a quick overview, once you make a page, you're gonna want to load it into the main navigation menu. And I can take one of my pages here. This is how we load those. And we can go to live webinars add that to menu and that will put that in this main navigation menu so if you'll notice that's where all these are now if I go back to my menus and hit the secondary menu see I can change these around if I want to okay okay change that MLM lead system choosing a good MLM customer appreciation these are just some of my secondary navigation right up here but I've moved those around but it's very simple I can just take a page add it to menu let me just show you I can take this add it to menu and see it drops it right here I'm gonna remove that because I don't want that on my page and I'm gonna hit save menu and that's all there is to setting up your menu so that's all we're going to talk about today really focus on what what your message is that you want it to be when they land on your page you want to answer three questions that is where am I what do you want me to do and why should I do it with you so try to get that message across as quick as you can try to get some credibility some testimonials some other information that keeps them engaged on your site because time on site matters uh, page views matters that's why I have this slider here but that's all we'll cover for now check out the rest of the videos on this page go through them and spend a good day or so to try to learn the basics of what we're talking about and when we come back we're going to start drilling down to a little bit more detail but just understand plugins understand the basics of widgets and don't don't get overwhelmed by this just go out and do it go out and make some posts and pages you've got plenty of videos that's going to help you do it now when you go into your back menu you're going to go to add new post and there you go that's that's where you put it in just hello world uh, we'll work on SEO later but just focus on the basics for now don't get intimidated this will all start to take shape in a very, very short period of time. So thanks for watching this one. I know it was long 
and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.